On the build show today, smart garage framing details. You know, garages can be tricky, and I'm visiting a job site today under construction that Steve Basic, the architect, designed with a couple of really smart details for this garage. Today's build show, all about garage framing. Let's get going. All right, guys, let's go check out this garage. Steve Basic, the architect, is uh, joining us. Hey, Steve. What's up, buddy? Thanks for joining me. Always a pleasure to have you come by. So, Steve, the first thing that I noticed here when I walked into this garage is you've got two trimmers on either side of these, uh, on either side of this column, I should say. Yep. Talk to me about dimensions for garage, because this can be tricky for builders a lot of times. So. It's a detail that a builder taught me probably 25 years ago, but he always he always wanted his doors oversized by six inches. Okay. So that way there, he'll finish the door with two two by sixes. He would do full treated and run them all the way down. So he had full attachment all the way to the So in other concrete. words, if we're ordering an eight foot wide garage door, you're framing it at eight six, and that's to the concrete. concrete. And, so, and what is this? I don't even know what this would be considered. That's not a pony wall, that's just a- No, it's just part of the wall. I mean, they yeah. cut part of it out, but yeah, that's just the foundation wall. So in other words, we're eight six from here to the other one. That gives you room to frame this with two two buys. And that's also smart. I'm seeing that how custom homes here use pressure treated, probably yeah. your detail right there. Yep. So that this, because it's lower than the concrete, is gonna be more susceptible rot. And then I'm also noticing, I often, Steve, see these hold downs on the outside. Talk to me about where those are placed. Yeah, a lot of times, you know, they're called for, people put them on the outside, but they bend, they chip the concrete. Mm -hmm. It's a pain in the neck. So we choose to put them on the inside. I checked with the engineer and he said, for our location and for this house, they work just fine in here. And so we chose to place them inside so they come right out of the middle of the foundation wall. That's really smart. Now you've got a post here because you've got a big load above coming down. Yeah. I also see some metal strapping. I'm assuming that's part of the engineer's design? Um, yeah, but you can go, there's a portal design in the IRC. That's the standard portal design. As long as you have at least two feet on each side of the doors and it's less than 26 feet from the door openings or center of those panels, I forget what it was, but you can just use their drawing and they call for these, uh, I think these are LST straps. Gotcha. And you can also, you'll see that there are some manufacturers like Simpson that make a sheer panel that sometimes is sized to fit in yeah. here, which you can use as an alternative. Yeah, typically when those get below the two foot or 24 inch dimension and you're getting down into 18 or 16, then you use their Simpson strong wall. Yeah, that's really smart. Uh, Steve, I'm also seeing that you've got a bunch of hurricane straps on these uh, two by, I don't know, eight or 10 or 12 rafters. Talk yeah. to me about that. These are all two by 12s. We put them on every every one. I don't mess around with it. You know, I just tell the guys, you put up a rafter, put a rafter clip on there That's to, for a hold down. That way we're not trying to figure out, you know, every four feet or is it every 32 inches, whatever it is, just put one on just every put one. put on every one. Makes and, life easy. And lastly, I'm noticing that you've got plywood on the floor here. What's going on here? So this is, you know, this is why I love working with Howell because their commitment to delivering a new house is a full commitment of delivering a new house. Mm. So when they're done in here, they'll pull up all of this and you will have a brand new slab. Not one that somebody spilled coffee on or spilled paint on and they scrubbed it off or ground it off. None of that, you're gonna get that brand new slab. That's pretty smart. So they use, looks like some maybe six mil Visqueen, put yep. that down first. Uh, then this is just some commodity grade OSB. And in fact, they might even take it from job to job. Yeah. Uh, I've also seen people use uh, some cardboard sheathing, which is a highly recommended use for cardboard sheathing, yep. not for sheathing, but actually for flooring protection. Uh, I really like it. Any other garage details we missed over here, Steve? Um, you know, it's, it's interesting when we, uh, it's not a crazy detail, but if you notice on the rafters, these aren't full length. We can't, we couldn't get the two by 12s easily at, uh, I think these probably go about 28 or 30 feet overall mm -hmm. from rafter tail. So we had to cut it. So we actually cut a bird's mouth on both sides, the high end uh, and the low end. And then the structural engineer just said, give me a foot on each side of nailing so we can tie those in and so basically get two of them. together. Yeah. That's really smart. 
So. Steve, I love this though. If you didn't learn anything from this video, remember this detail right here. Add six inches to your garage door width. I think that's really smart and frame it with pressure treated. Guys, if you're not currently following Steve on Instagram or you're not watching his videos over on buildshownetwork.com, you should be. Steve is a really smart architect who works with some amazing builders, including this one, which we mentioned, which is Howl Custom Homes uh, here in the Boston suburbs, right? Yep. Yeah, uh, pretty much all of Boston area. We'll okay. put a link to uh, both Steve on Build Show Network and Hal in the description below. But if you're not currently a subscriber, guys, hit that subscribe button below and also subscribe to our newsletter so you know when Steve's got a new video out on buildshownetwork.com. Hey, not to plug it, but I did one exactly on the roof framing and you stuff. You did, all right, there you go. go I'll, I'll put that in the description <laughs> below, go watch that. Guys, if you're not currently a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. We've got new content every Tuesday and every Friday. Follow us on TikTok or Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.